hope you guys are well. We are switching things up today. You are in my car right now. We are gonna have ourselves a little bit of a shopping day. I have about two hours before I have to be at Rory's spring class party. So I'm gonna hit up, we're at Home Goods right now. I have a couple places I wanna go. We are looking for some home decor. I will put up the list of everything I am hoping to find. I might have to do a couple days of this and then we're gonna bring everything home. I will show you my haul and we're gonna do some decorating. I'm so thankful you're here. If you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around. Let's get into home goods. I always like to start at home goods when I have just a long list of things that I'm looking for because you never know what you're gonna find at home goods. I think part of the search in home goods is the appeal and the fun. And I know every home goods has just a little bit different items. We are lucky, we have two home goods within driving distance of where we live. I only went to one this time. I went to my favorite one. It's like a newer one, it's bigger. It tends to be a little bit more organized. And they had a lot of stuff. They were in a transition period where they had a lot of spring but then they had also started to put out a lot of summer decor and just seasonal summer items and that got me so excited for the summer which for us is only about six weeks away our kids get out of school at the end of May so I did have summer on my mind I got a little distracted by all the cute strawberry decor that I saw and the red white and blue and I couldn't help myself I had to take a little bit of a look so I wanted to show this stuff to you because the other thing with home goods is you know their inventory turns over pretty quickly so so if you don't catch things early, it's kind of like the target dollar spot. It will come and go very fast. And so I just wanted to take a quick little glimpse at everything to see what they had. And the strawberry stuff, I was just so drawn to that. And then I saw the pea in the pod. I didn't buy any of this stuff. I had a list I was sticking to. But I thought if you're hosting a baby shower, how adorable is that pea in a pod platter? I, and I can't go to Home Goods without looking at office supplies. I really can't go to any store without looking at office supplies if they offer it. I, it's the former teacher in me, but I have always had a love for school supplies. And so I like to look at all the pens and all the paper organizers and all the things. So we will get back on track now. I just had to take a quick little detour and show you guys that stuff. But main goals here, I wanted to look at their bedding, their pillows, their picture frames, and I also really wanna find a table for our front porch. Just all the things were on the list. I did try to focus on those things. I was really drawn to this area in the store. It reminded me of Bridgerton. It was just this frilly, proper, but beautiful, bright patterned decor. And that table, I was trying so hard to find an excuse to buy that little tiny bench and that little tiny table. But I just redid Rory's room and I really didn't have a need for it, but it was really hard to walk away from those items. I was looking at these tables for our front porch to put in between our chairs. And then I moved on to the picture frames. They have really affordable picture frame sets. I highly recommend them. I know that I wanted to have some type of gold frame somewhere in our home and then lighter wood frames. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of Home Goods and then we will move on to Kirkland's. and I walked into Kirkland's I loved what I saw they just have the brightest colors and happy display set up right now if you have a Kirkland's home near you 
go immediately and check it out. It will just bring you so much joy and happiness when you walk in. I mean, look at that. Good vibes only. I just loved it. I was so drawn to all of these bright colors. And I will show you guys at the end of our shopping the haul of everything that I got before we get into the cleaning and decorating. So don't worry. I'm going to leave you in a little bit of suspense. But they had just the cutest stuff. These little planters I loved. And even though on the inside I'm just filled with rainbow colors, I typically go more neutral with my home decor because I will get overstimulated if there's too much you know color everywhere and I had to pick up this pink bag I'm the type of person when I walk into a store if there is stuff on the ground or if stuff has fallen over I will clean up their store for them that's why I can't go into a TJ Maxx I don't know about your TJ Maxx's but mine is always a hot mess and I will just spend so much time trying to clean the store up for them the only negative to my trip to Kirkland's is that they weren't really having any sales. You can usually catch them when they're doing a store-wide sale and the whole store is 40% off or on their website. There was just little small areas that were having sales and it wasn't any of the stuff that I was drawn to. It's probably a good thing because your girl would have bought way too much stuff like those cute little sponges, the coffee cup. But since there weren't any good sales to be had at Kirkland's, I decided it was time to move on to my second home, Target. I got a little bit distracted in the Target dollar spot, which always happens. I know I'm not alone in that, but they were similar to Home Goods where they had a mix of spring and they had started to put out some summer stuff. So I once I, I, I went as fast as I could through the Target dollar spot. I wanted to show you the Tina Turners though because I use those in my pantry. I have solid gray ones, but they have some right now. They You have to commit to some bright and bold colors if you want them, but they're always so useful. So now we're in the bedding section. I had been kind of eyeing some stuff online from Hearth and Hand, and I wanted to go look at it in person. I The vibe I'm going for in our bedroom is just, I want to keep it cozy, obviously, but I also like neutral. I wanted just some warmer, neutral colors. I, I wanted to be brave enough to do a pattern on our bedding, but I know myself, I know my personality, I would get tired of it very quickly. And, and you know, a lot of patterns don't really bring me peace and comfort. I like to just have solid, neutral, cozy bedding, but I did add some color though. So I'm excited to show you guys what I picked out underneath that white pillow that I'm looking at right now, the lawn blue one, we already have in our room. So it was cool to kind of see how everything would look. I was debating between three larger pillows, but it was nice to have our pillow that already there that I could kind of compare and see what looked best with it. So I'm really excited to show you guys what we got. And then on the way out, I wanted to stop by the office pl supply section. I wanted to replenish my planner. I get this one. I've gotten it for the past two years. It's called the Simplified Planner. I love it. It has all of these bright, beautiful colors, but it's not too overwhelming. And I just like the way that it's laid out. I am a paper and pencil kind of a gal. I like to write things down. I still have a paper calendar on the wall at home. And so I wanted to get that one because I'm making summer plans for camps and stuff for the kids. And so I needed it. It starts July to July. So I needed the summer one to get started with that and I also decided I'm going to be asking my children for all the pens and markers for Mother's Day this year. Okay day two of shopping we are hitting up Michael's Joanne Fabrics. I think that's it. I have some special guests with me. Okay, since I had my three amazing children with me, I was going as quickly as possible through these two stores. So I didn't get as much footage to show you guys, but I will say Michael's had really, actually Michael's and Joanne's both had really, really good sales going, like 40% off of everything. Some of the things were half off. They had really good clearance sections. So I will show you as much as I can, but I did decide I was going to do a DIY wreath for the back porch. I just couldn't find one that was already made that I loved. So I decided I'm just gonna make it myself. And so when we get to Joanne, you will see I loaded up on all of the flowers because not only did they have some 75% off on clearance, they also had 50% off of all of their spring flowers. And so I'm excited for us to do this little DIY together. I got enough flowers that I can actually make two wreaths. So we'll do one for the screened in porch and then we'll also do one for the kitchen. And I'll show you how I like to make them. I loved that butterfly lantern. I really wanted to buy it and now I'm kind of having a little bit of regret because I did not purchase them. So I might go back and still see if they had them. I was second guessing it and I've learned if I second guess, don't buy it. I can always go back and buy it later. But I'm excited to show you guys everything that I ended up getting. So we'll go through 
and finish up. We finished up at Michael's. Now we're going to move on to Joanne's. Jo- oh, Joanne's had some really good sales on frames. So I did end up picking out some frames. See if you can figure out which one I got. And I will show you guys all the haul right when we get home after this. my friends I have quite the haul to share with you I am so excited about everything that we found so let's start down here I got these beautiful wood arched frames from home goods I got a larger one and a smaller one and they're like this light beachy wood tone and I think they're so beautiful and then up here from Amazon I just ordered two more of the pillowcases that I already have on our back porch because I'm gonna take away the faux fur pillowcases and do these for the warmer months. And then from Target, I found, finally, I've been looking for months for the perfect bedding and I love what we found. So this is from Hearth and Hand. And this comforter is like a warm gray color, almost a grayish, and I'm gonna put that at the foot of our bed. And then we switch to blue sheets. I think they're so pretty. And then I found, finally, big enough fluffy pillows. And they have like a frayed, trim to them which I love it makes it just more casual and cozy I'm so excited about these and I know this isn't decor but I had to get it look at this little mini colander it just brings me so much happiness I cannot wait to use this okay and we are going to do ourselves a DIY project here I bought like all the flowers that Joanne Fabrics had, but we got them all on clearance. I'm so excited. I found these guys, and then these are so whimsy. Look at that. It looks like it's from the movie The Lorax. I just love them so much. So I got a ton of them, and we are gonna make our own DIY wreath, I think, to put up there on that mantle. And then I think that's it for Joanne, and then Michaels. Oh my gosh, look at him. I had to bring this guy home with me. Look at this little creature. So he, I think, is gonna go on the back porch as well. I have these vases that I'm gonna put these in. I'm not quite sure. I might put them in the kitchen. We're still gonna wait and see. I got this beautiful vase. I love this so much. And then this beautiful vase. Everything I bought, you guys, was at least 40% off, except for the Target purchases. But it was on, everything was on sale. It was so exciting. All right, let me show you all the frames now. Okay, since we have not put any family pictures up yet, I needed quite a bit of frames. I got these from Home Goods. There were three of them for $39.99, so I thought that was a really good deal. And these are almost identical, but these are actually from Home Depot, and I got a bunch of those to go in the living room. These frames are from Walmart, and they look very high-end. I was actually very pleasantly surprised. The prints are from minted.com. I ordered those and then these were from Joanne and I got a bunch of them to go in our bedroom. All right, let's decorate. Hello, good morning. I am so excited. Today is decorating day. All right, here's the spots we're gonna do. Upstairs in our bedroom, we have the new bedding. We have frames for the wall. I have frames for, I think, the stair landing. I'm trying to decide between the stair landing or the bathroom off of our mudroom. We're gonna try them out in both spots, see what we think. We have the living room to do a little upgrade on and our back porch, our screened in porch, and then a little bit on our dining room table. We have the two DIY wreaths that we're gonna make, one for the back porch, one for the kitchen if I have enough flowers. Lots to do today, it's so exciting. Let's get started. Annie says hi. 
I'm going to start up in Stephen and I's room. Since this is the next day after purchasing the bedding, I was able to wash it all last night and it's ready to go. So I want to switch out and put our new bedding on, add our new accent pillows, and show you guys how that all turned out. We're going to do a little tidy up session in the room as well. And then I'm going to put up a new gallery wall of all of our family photos. And I really tried to focus on seasonal photos. I started to overthink which pictures to print out and the perfectionism in me kind of took over and I was just overthinking it way too much story of my life. So I reminded myself it's not that deep. It's a picture that you're printing out. So I decided to go with a summer theme. That way I don't have to switch them out in a month. And then in the fall, we'll switch out for some fall photos, which already has me really excited for all of those fall things. All right, let's get the room going. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away Okay, it is time to start the gallery wall. I was really excited because the frames that I got from Joanne's came with a paper template. So my first plan was to cut it out, tape it up on the wall, and then super simple, just do the nail holes exactly where the holes are. And that worked for my top row. But then as I tried to go down, because I'm hanging up 16 pictures, I decided to do four rows of four. It just became a series of errors. Lots and lots of errors. I didn't know what I was doing, if I'm being honest. I, You'll see, I try lots of different methods. I try the blue tape method, where you measure how far apart you want the pictures to be with the blue tape, and that's supposed to work, except it didn't work, because I'm sure I mismeasured. There was just a lot going on, so I'm just going to let you sit back and enjoy all of my mistakes. Okay, so these two are even and those two are even. But as you can see, there is a clear difference in the leveling between the two twins. Ay ay ay. Okay, I just adjusted these two to go a little higher and it looks so much better. 
All right, let's keep going. Getting frustrated. Grr. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to all the home improvement pros out there. That is not my strength. Hanging pictures is my least favorite activity I've decided, but I figured out a solution. It's all about trial and error and problem solving. So I'm just cutting this in half and I'm just measuring as I hang each one. I just use the top half of this, measure where the hole is, do just a little bit of a hammer situation, make a hole, take this off, and then just put the final thing in. That way I'm just lining them up as I go instead of trying to get all of these installed ahead of time. That was my mistake. So we're gonna do one at a time and we're gonna get this done. Don't ever give up, you guys. I also decided last minute to add the fourth row. So I am missing one frame. I'm gonna wait till the back corner to not put one. And then I didn't have enough pictures printed. So stay tuned. We will be completing this with the pictures later on. might be something back there I should not be hammering in. You might be wondering, did I use a stud finder? Did I look at the plans to make sure that there weren't any electrical cords behind this? No, no I did not. This method is so much better. You know the expression, focus on each individual step, not the whole staircase. I just tend to be a whole staircase kind of a person. I like the big picture. In this situation, it is much better to just do one step at a time, one picture frame at a time. This is looking amazing. Despite all the headaches, I'm really excited about this. It was worth it. It was worth the challenge. Okay, now we're moving on to the living room. I, if those of you that have been following, you might remember those light gray solid pillows used to be on our bed upstairs. So I decided to bring those down now and put them in the living room. And I am purposely trying to not have all the pillows be so matchy matchy, symmetrical, following the same patterns. I'm trying to switch it up. I have a personality that loves things to be symmetrical and even and matching. So I'm trying and you guys will see later on when we do the DIY wreath I did the complete opposite of that and I gotta say I love it and it's good to switch things up especially when it's something like home decor because there's not a lot at stake there just try something new I encourage you guys see how you feel let it sit for a little bit because you never know until you try something different and so now we're getting everything ready for the mantle I adore this little vase I am so excited that I found this at Michael's I'm just adding some whimsy little flowers to it and then we'll get everything set up on the mantle what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone? 
I was really feeling confident in my picture hanging abilities at this point. I started to bust out the blue tape again. It's orange tape, but it's blue tape. I'm using the level. I mean, finally, after 20 picture frames, I figured it out. And thank goodness, because the living room ones are the ones that we look at the most. And they're by no means perfect. There's still going to be a little bit of a difference between them, but I think those little quirks are okay. And again, everything doesn't have to be perfect. I did fix that picture frame though, because that was driving me a little bit crazy. There was a little bit too much of a discrepancy there, but I love how it turned out. And I stuck with the summer theme since we are now rolling into summer pretty shortly. So one side of the living room, I did our beach pictures. The other side, I did our pool pictures. And then later on in the summer, when we get closer to fall, we'll switch those out for some fall pictures. There be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope love a DIY. I just take pride in something that I make myself and I especially had so much fun making this wreath. So this is what I was talking about where I did not make it symmetrical. It is the most wild wreath I have ever created in my life. It is so not like me to make it like this, but I had so much fun. And you know what? Adding a little extra color and flair to our back porch is exactly what we needed in life. And I love how both of the wreaths turned out. The one for the kitchen was was definitely a little bit more neutral and symmetrical compared to my fun wild and crazy one that I made for the back porch but I actually love both of them equally and it definitely is encouraging me to continue to do my DIYs and continue to share these with you guys let me know in the comments if you're a DIY type of a person and all the things that you enjoy making when you do DIYs and I gotta say since the wreaths are so opposite of each other let me know which wreath you identify with more the more neutral, symmetrical one, or the fun, colorful, wild and crazy one. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Okay, I have to take a moment to thank Olney. I have been partnering with them multiple times throughout the year. I love their lights. They recently sent me their outdoor strain lights. These are new. This is a new product for them. And I have been wanting to add some strain lights to our back porch. So I was so excited when they reached out again. They truly have a high quality product. If you watched my room makeover for Rory you saw the string lights in her bedroom when I did the fall makeover in the boys rooms they have the string lights in their room we use their lights for our front porch and our front yard decor for the holidays they just have really quality lights they are all led and i have just been so pleased with them i only have good things to say about their lights so i will show you it's daytime so you're not gonna be able to see them light up right now but i will give you an overview of what our porch looks like at night and i am so excited these lights were just the perfect spring and early summer decor to add to our porch so thank you only for reaching out again to collaborate i love all the products that you guys are sending and if you guys are interested in these lights i do have a 15 percent set off code for you that will run through the end of April. So I will put all of that information, including the link in the video description box for you below. Is a star with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. There is no one who has a heart as pure. No, not like yours.
What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. The last thing I want to do is clean off the dining room table and I want to set up our games in the basket in the middle, especially late spring rolling into summer. We love to just have those family game nights and having it out on the table. It just encourages us to do that more often than when we finish dinner, immediately going to a screen or work or something like that and just something non-family related. And so I just love having the games out. It just encourages us to make sure we're taking that time to slow down spend time as a family and the kids get really excited when they see the games out there as well so we'll get that set up and i'll show you all of our family's favorite games in case you want to try some new ones we have some really good ones in there i will say out of all of those my favorite is called ratatat cat it's not in the proper packaging it's just in a ziploc baggie so you wouldn't know but ratatat cat i will link it for you guys in the video description box i'm sure they sell it on amazon but thank you so much for spending time with me today let me know if you liked this type of video at the shop with me i hope you guys are well if if you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!